Welcome back to Rest Road Church and welcome back to the Life Recovery Devotional Readings for Step 2. Today we are going through Day 3 of the Life Recovery Devotionals Step 2 Readings. And our Bible reading for today is Luke 15, 11 through 24, the parable of the prodigal son. Verse 11. To illustrate this point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of the earth state now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings and moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare, and here I am, dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. So he returned home to his father, and while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to his servants, Quick, Bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. And kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. In the natural progression of addiction, our lives necessarily degenerate. In one way or another, many of us wake up one day to realize we are living like animals. How this is true depends on the nature of our addiction. Some of us may be living like animals in terms of our physical surroundings. Others of us may be slaves to our animal passions, powerful emotions that dehumanize us. A young man turned, took an early inheritance and wandered away from home. When the money was spent, the woman, just a memory, and the high long gone, he resorted to slopping pigs to earn, to earn a meager living when he became so hungry that he was eyeing the pig's slop with envy, he realized he had a problem. When he finally came to his senses, he said to himself, At least at home the hired servants have food enough to spare, and here am I, dying of hunger. I will go home to my father. So he returned home to his father, and while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kiss him. The fact that we are able to recognize our lives as degenerate or insane proves that there is hope for a better way of life. We are reminded of a time when life was good and we long to have it restored. When we turn in the direction of one who is more powerful, who represents the memory of something better, we will find the power that can restore us to sanity. God doesn't force us to come to him. He simply waits for us to come to our senses. And boy, that's a powerful message, because I remember the day I came to my senses. It was, <laughs> it was three months after I had started going to recovery groups. Three months after, I had finally decided I was enough. I had enough. And I was done with being insane. So on February 14th of 2022, I finally decided I was going to stop being stupid. I was going to stop being stupid and I was going to stop being insane. And I was going to find the one that could restore my sanity. God didn't force me to come to him. He sat and waited while I stumbled my way towards him. It might have been a long road, but I managed to get there because God is good and God gives us 
the chance and the choice to make it there. Would you pray with me? God, thank you so much for the gift of grace that even while we were still a long ways off, you were watching for us and you ran toward us and said, my son, my daughter, my child, I still love you. The ring that you place on our finger is the sign that we are still your heirs, still your family. The robe that you put on us is the new, clean living that we receive through your power in us. That white as snow washing. And the fattened calf, that picture of a feast, that's a celebration in heaven that you and your angels have as soon as we say, I'm yours, God. I am no longer my own, and I no longer wish to be my own, but now I am yours. That is the gift of grace through your power and through your spirit. And we thank you for that gift. We thank you for that power, and we thank you for that magnificent, magnificent grace all-sufficient grace for even such as I, even me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When, no, when nothing else can do, all I can say is thank you, Lord. No other words but that. Gratitude is what I give. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I hope you will join us again next time for another reading from our daily devotional, as well as many more videos on this channel. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Stay clean, stay sober, and take it one day at a time, my friends. One day at a time.